What's doing? Welcome back. Rinse off the car. I'm going to do something a little bit technical on fuel consumption. Let's get into it. So the fuel lights just come on. Yep. There. I'm at the servo. Uh, the fuel light came on about uh, 10, 15 k's from home. The fuel light came on probably a couple of k's ago. So it's only just come on. Um, now you start to wonder how much fuel have you got left when you got your fuel light on. Um, people start to panic uh, and you've got 10 kilometers, you've got 100 kilometers, what have we got? So let's do some maths, let's do some calculations and work out how much we've got to go uh, when the fuel light comes on. This isn't um, a Bible gospel thing where it'll be the same for every car. Uh, it depends how you drive, if you're towing, if you're not towing, if you're going up hills. You know, but as a general rule of thumb, if your average is you know, 8.7 litres per 100, um, we can work that out. So let's go fill the tank up and we'll do some maths on how much fuel it's taken to fill it from the light on and how much we're gonna have left. So we've just filled up, oh, there you go, there, 63 litres, dollar 85 a litre. What are you guys paying where you are? Uh, but 63.31 litres. And you can see the fuel, hopefully maybe kinda, no, it's gone, you can't see it. It's just down there, you can just see it anyway. All right, so we've just filled up, she's full. So I'll get back to work and I'll get out of the browsers here so we're not blocking anyone and we'll do some maths. Okay, so we're back at work. Um, so I've skipped a step, but I was at the server on the way, so we had to talk about that uh, then. So now we're back at work. What you need to do, you need to work out how many Ks you get to the tank uh, when the light comes on. So reset your trip meter uh, back to zero when you fill your tank up, drive to the fuel light comes on, then fill the tank up, take note how many liters you're putting in and how many kilometers you've done. Then we're gonna do some maths. So we're going to use the litres used divided by the kilometres you travelled. So I'll put my numbers up here uh, on my previous one we've done. And then you times that by 100. So I'll put those numbers up here. Or you can cheat like I have and there's a calculator online. But it comes to 8.1 litres per 100. And how many litres you've used is all there. So now we can go to the next step. So the next part is you need to look up your fuel tank capacity in your car. Uh, this one's 76 litres. Uh, and on my screen there I put that I use 60 litres to get that 8.1. So we pull that 60 out of 76, that tells me I have 16 litres left in the tank. Then we can do some more maths uh, and we can go back the other way and tell us uh, how much we've got. Now, if you did pay close attention on the screen uh, when I showed you my uh, fuel light was on, it did say 115 k to the tank. Now, let's do this calculation and see if the dash was accurate or just a calculation, which is obviously just a calculation because it goes off you know, how, much you use, how much fuel you're using versus what sort of driving style you're doing. It's just calculating how much oil, how much oil. So it's just calculating how much fuel is getting injected to the car. Um, it can calculate how much you're left in the tank. Um, and it works all out from that as a mathematical equation, but it's obviously just an average. Uh, so let's crunch some numbers and we'll work it out and I'll tell you the difference at the end. So yeah, so I had 8.1 litres per 100 and I had 16 litres left in the tank. So then we go 16, divided by 8.1 and times that by 100 and that tells me what I got left. I've got my little calculator down here. I'll show you over on the screen, you can see. Uh, it comes in at 197.5 kilometers. Uh, so that is different to the dash of 115. So as an average, now this again, again, I see this will change uh, depending on what you're doing, how you're driving, if you're towing. This is just mostly around town driving. Um, if you want to get an accurate one towing a caravan, do the same situation. Drive the caravan until the light comes on, fill it up, note how much it takes to fill it. You'll know how much um, you've got left in the tank, then you can go back through and recalculate all that again. I'll put all the equations back up at the end. So if you do want to see how to do it, I'll make a big note at the end uh, in text on the screen so you can see it. Uh, but yeah, if you want to know how much when towing and how much when around town, do it both ways. So if you're traveling from, I don't know, from sunny coast to Melbourne, tow all the way down there. And as soon as the light comes back on, fill it back up, work out your calculation. And you know when towing how much fuel you're using, and then you can work out how much fuel you got left. So if you are stuck between two destinations, you're going to be able to work out where you are uh, in the way of how much fuel you're left. Um, and then you know for sure that you know you can rely on how much tanks, how much fuel's left in the tank. But yeah, that's it. Uh, so uh, going off my car on current driving conditions, uh, we're doing you know 8.7. It says on there as an average. Uh, but when I do my fuel calculations, uh, I'm getting 8.1 per hundred, and then I can work out that from the 8.1 per hundred, I have 16 liters left in my tank. And at 16 liters of my tank at 8.1 per 100, if I'm drawing exactly the same, I should get 197 kilometers before it's burnt dry empty. Um, so I probably wouldn't go that low. That's another discussion we can talk about running your fuel tanks really low. Uh, diesel fuel gets hot. They actually run through a cooler on the return. And the idea is to keep your cool if you're cool. Uh, and then that also keeps your pumps cool you know, if you have an in-tank pump. Um, and try and keep the sediment at the bottom of the tank. Well, there's lots and lots of discussion we can go on about that. Uh, but the idea is, general rule of thumb is, probably don't let your car get to uh, fuel light on. 
Uh, if you can do it a quarter of a tank, it's going to be the best case scenario for you because you've always got a quarter of a tank of fuel in the in the tank. Uh, there's always fuel in the tank to keep the pumps cool. Uh, there's always enough fuel getting recirculated uh, to make sure the fuel pump uh, fuel to make sure the fuel temperature isn't getting sky high. Uh, a lot of cars will pull power um, and I have seen uh, people plumb fuel filters up the wrong way on a Ranger and it actually returns the fuel to the filter for it to suck out, not to the tank. Uh, and then all of a sudden it's just recyc recycling back to the filter and the fuel pressure, uh, fuel temperatures go to 80 degrees uh, just because it's just cycling around and it just pulls power uh, and the cars are slug. But when on the first morning it's really good. Uh, that's just an, an idea for you that you can see that it does happen. You need to keep those fuel temps down. There is safeties there for a reason. Uh, so yeah, there is a fuel cooler there for a reason. Try and fill your tank up as, as soon as you can. A quarter of a tank is probably ideal. If, the, if you're getting stuck, fuel light's on, you've done a calculation, you know where you are, uh, and you can get to that point where you're uh, safe to you know, know that you've got 197 Ks left in your tank. And I can spend, you know, I can probably drive for 100 Ks, not panicking that my fuel light's on, and am I gonna get there? Yep, so that's it. A uh, bit of a technical one in the way of maths and fuel consumption. Uh, I'm just trying to give you guys some info on everything I can in this car and lots of other cars as well. Uh, so hopefully you guys like it. Uh, if you do, make sure you hit that like, hit subscribe. Uh, it really helps with the algorithm of me making the effort to make these videos. I've said pretty much every other video. Uh, if you want any merch, we've got that all on our website. If you want any parts for cars you see that we're doing, uh, I generally put that on my website as well. So, you know, UHF holders, exhaust systems, turbos, uh, injectors, all that stuff, it all goes online. So as I do it, uh, it's all on our online store. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, and any video I do do, I do do, any video I do uh, will um, have a link in there for that direct part. So if, you, if we're, you know, fitting a UHF holder, we're fitting a bull bar, we're fitting a whatever, you'll see where that part is, uh, get a direct link to my website and you can go and buy it. Uh, if you want to ring up for a quote, by all means do that, 54914626. Uh, but otherwise, make sure you hit that like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Jesus Christ, I've just been uh, doing this edit and I rambled on there a little bit. So let, I've got the numbers written out here in front of me so I can read it out to you and try and go through it with you and I'll put the numbers on the screen. So I got 740 Ks to a tank uh, of 60 liters with a diesel. So we can do 60 divided by 740 times 100 gives us 8.1 liters per 100. Oh, so there is a calculator on, online if I use that. Uh, but then we can go then, okay, from 76 litres, I use 60 litres, that leaves me with 16 litres left in the tank when the fuel light comes on. And then I have 16 litres divided by that 8.1 uh, litres per 100 times 100 gives me 197.5 kilometres. So in my circumstance, on a normal driving around, you know, combined of towing a little trailer, going up and down the highway, around town, majority, uh, stop start traffic, I have uh, 740 k's to that tank. Uh, with 16 litres left and I still have 197 k's left in the tank uh, which I guess is a good number because if you put some maths in there now 197 on top of that was 740 uh, it gives me a lot of uh, kilometres to my tank uh, which is quite good I'm going to have to do it though when towing so I um, do have a trip to Sydney coming up um, so when I'm towing there I'll do the same thing uh, so I can see when towing what's my fuel consumption and how much I have left in the tank um, and we can work it out from there so I know when towing versus when normal driving and we know what the consumption is and how much I have left. Uh, so it should be about the same, obviously, but it gives you that number, um, you know, with the lights come on with 16 Ks left, with 16 liters left, uh, but then towing, I should be able to work out my consumption. If I'm, you know, 10 liters per 100, I can work that out. Uh, so yeah, now I'm gonna see you in the next one. So make sure you hit that like, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.